that we don't know nothing about finance, y'all. I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. And when I say we, I'm talking about you Negroes, the blacks. Shout out to YouTube. I'm a black gold woman. Y'all know I got to remind YouTube, okay? Y'all know I got to remind YouTube. Oh, look. Oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I get to this. Welcome, Deborah Irvin. She said she's from Jersey. Shout out to New Jersey. She became a member today, I believe. And I want to make sure that I thank you and shout you out and say, I see you, hon. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for the support. Thank you to you and all the channel members who sit up here and say that you think so much of this channel and what I'm saying and what's going on that you're going ahead and become a member. I appreciate you. I see you. I want to make sure that I acknowledge you and everyone else who is a member. Appreciate all the support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's get to this right here, right? In case you didn't see it, and this is from MSN, so it got to be true, right? Woman buys old car for $289 for 84 months. Can y'all see this car? Can y'all see this car? Y'all, we don't know nothing about nothing, okay? Y'all, y'all, $289 for this crap right here? And they had the audacity to put a daggone bow on it. Wow. It says, mm, mm, mm. during tax season, people are often using their returns to buy outrageous things. Normally, people will buy an older model of luxury car, which they usually end up taking a loss on. Other times, people price themselves out by buying a new car that is out of their normal budget. Hmm. However, there is a woman who has gone viral from Facebook for buying a 19, not 2000, y'all. We are in 2023. Did you hear me? We are in 2023. This woman bought a 1998 Ford Escort. They said under a horrible deal. Not only is she paying over $200 a month for the car, she is paying on it for the next Seven years. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, but seven effing years. You can get rid of a bankruptcy in seven daggone years. Seven years, seven years. I ain't even know they allowed seven years specifically for a car that this daggone old. And she out here bragging about it, which again proves the point that you Negroes are not really well versed with finance. You have no financial literacy, and that is, is is important, just as important as reading, but definitely important to be able to count your damn money, to be able to calculate where you are going, how you're gonna get there, how much stuff costs, what you need to budget, what you need to spend, how you need to save. What about that? How about the fact that? You clearly don't know because you clearly don't know about Kelly Blue Book either. Hello? Hello? Kelly Blue Book would have told you, girl, if you don't tell them to take this $200 and get up out my face. And seven years, y'all, if, if you got to buy a car and take a seven-year loan, you can't afford it. Okay? If you got to take a seven-year loan for a car, you cannot afford it. The interest rate it must be... 50% on this mess. She got a payment of 289. And then out here with a picture and a bow bragging. And whoever this is, he need to be fired. Because he don't know either. Fired, I tell you. Fired. Hope that's not your dad. And I hope it ain't your man, child. I uh, hope that's the car dealer. Because this is a mess. This is a high effing mess. Social media has highlighted that people spend too much time focusing on other people. Some people show off for the sake of impressing others. Meanwhile, other people show off for the sake of proving others wrong. In any case, there are people who spend their time making fun of people who are showing off. These people often liken themselves to be smarter than the one showing off. There's no one smart in this scenario, in this scene, with this deal, okay? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. 
these people, um, I'm sorry, in all honesty, all of these kinds of people are misusing social media. However, a situation like this with the Ford Escort does deserve a second look. Anybody in need of a serviceable car should look at what this woman did and do the exact opposite. This woman has purchased a car that can't be worth much more than $1,500. I don't think it's worth $15 damn hundred dollars. And I wouldn't pay $1,500 for that mess. We are in 2023. This car start with 19. While she is spending less than 300 a month for her car, the car is already 25 years old. This lady has gone viral because of the promo post where she is making 289 monthly payments for the next 84 months, which is seven years. So um, shout out to um, Dion Covington, who's saying that it's fake. It could be. It may be a fake post. So if it is fake and they're doing this just for the click likes and views, we're used to it, right? But I'm going to err on the side that this would not surprise me. This would not surprise me at all because we don't know anything about finance. We definitely don't know about contracts. That's why we're having eviction night because there's so many people who will blame C-19, of course. Of course, they're going to blame C-19. But these are people who are out here um, spending, helping with the $1.6 trillion, ain't got a pot to piss in, went on to throw it out of, sitting up here buying cars that they don't need, spending money on Beyonce tickets when they can't even pay the rent, sitting around here, and then they're going to have the nerve and audacity to tell somebody like me that I'm broke. Okay, whatever you say, okay? Um, don't know nothing about savings. Don't have a checking account. Go to the pawn, not the pawn shop, the, um, oh, uh, oh my God, what is it called, y'all? Where you go um, to cash a check. I can't think of what it's called because it's ghetto. Where people, a lot of people in the hood go to cash their checks, then they got to basically give $10 million of your check in order to get $10 from the actual check. So you're losing out from that perspective. Probably get a rush card if it's even still available. Shout out to Russell Simmons. Doing all kinds of crap that makes no effing sense. Shout out to KC. Check cashing. Thank you, hon. Check cashing uh, places. Sitting up there doing cash for your title, title for your cash, however that works where you're taking the chance that you're never going to get your car or your car is going to be taken away from you because you need money so bad that you're willing to give up your title in order to get some daggone money. But, you know, if I say something, I'm wrong, I'm unempathetic, got a small penis, pick me, mammy, all that. It can't be the fact that no one wants to talk about this mess. It continues to happen. And then these are the same people that's going to say white supremacy, racism, discrimination. It's not fair. It's because of slavery. It's the white man. It's the white people. You wrong, you wrong, you wrong. No, what it is, is, is that you're not willing to change. You're not willing to listen. And being a part of the community is where and what you want to be. And that's fine. Because like I always say, we're going to let adults be adult. And they're going to take all them consequences, okay? It doesn't make good God sense, though. Because these are the same people talking about generational wealth, generational wealth. I got to leave something for my kids. And all you leave is debt. All you leave is a GoFundMe. All you leave is more of the same poverty mentality to go over and over again. So when we going to stop it would be my question. Shout out to everybody else that's not black here. Shout out to y'all. You got to bear with me for a minute because you they'll say that I hate black people. I hate black women. Be these are the same people who don't have nothing who don't want to listen, but they want to be all upset and get emotional. When if you effing listen, you can hear and see that this is a freaking lesson to your dumb ass. But you would rather go and be miserable and commiserate with other TBBs so that you can sit over there and say, yeah, cross that, that's that musty, because that's more important for you to carry on about men, black men in particular, instead of improving your life for you and your kids, your illegitimate bastards. Come on now. Let's tell the truth. You ain't married. Your kids is bastards. Okay. Come on now. It T.I. is what a T.I. is. I ain't lying. Look it up in the dictionary. But then someone will be all upset. You don't mean you're no empathy, no sympathy. Correct. Nope. All 2023. Okay. Shout out to the squeegee kid extraordinaire. Zift 72. Thank you so much, hon. Always here. Always supporting. When I bought my. When I bought my squeegee and bucket, it was <laughs> it was out of so 
72 month installment. Oh my goodness. Only 70 more months to go, hon. Only 70 more months to go. I can't with you. That is hilarious. But but he's making fun, of course. But this is exactly what this woman just did, allegedly. I mean, this is MSNBC. Not MSNBC. This is MSN. So I guess we can kind of trust them, maybe. You know what I'm saying? But maybe we can't. But let's not act like this happens all the time during tax season, y'all. Every effing year, women wait for tax season every year for the windfall of money. These people get all this money, a lot of money, especially if they have more kids. A lot of money is relative. OK, it's relative. So if it's eight thousand dollars, yeah, I, I got, I'm in the money. I'm in the money. Be gone in 30 days. I mean, listen, I can spend $8,000 in 30 damn minutes. I'm not saying that that's a flex because it is not because I gamble. But I'm just saying you spending money that you really need to be saving, putting into something, investing in your kids, getting that uh, tutor at Sylvan Learning Center, making sure your kids know how to read and write, buying them a workbook, getting them simple clothes. They don't have to have Jordans, you know, all that foolishness that we always talk about. Okay. But you rather get on here and insult someone else instead of listening and take the time to learn something to improve your own situation. And that is why I have no empathy and I have no sympathy because you do it to yourself. I say what I said. Shout out to Supreme 10, another channel member, Hunt. Thank you so much for always being here and supporting. Thank you so much for the 20. This car is not worth $7,000. Child, this car ain't worth $7. This car ain't worth $7. The check engine light is probably. <laughs> check engine light is not funny. I'm trying to be nice, though. I'm trying to be nice. I don't have empathy or sympathy. I'm trying to be nice. But I guarantee you the check engine light is on, child. Tires is bald. Ain't no oil in it. Now, listen, I don't know a lot about cars, but I know some of the basics. Okay? I know what to look out for. She's dealing with a buy. Yes, yes, yes. She's dealing with a buy here, pay here lot. What a waste of money. Absolutely. That too. Thank you so much for saying that. So many people in the community will go and do that buy here, pay here, which is one of the worst deals ever. That means you have no credit. That means your credit sucks. And that means that they can take advantage of you just like at the check cash and shout out to Casey, I believe, just like the check cash in place. Charge you an arm and an effing leg and you okay with it. You okay with it. Because that's how desperate the situation is. For whatever the need is, right? Mm-mm. 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 You hurting yourself. You hurting your kids. You hurting your future. You hurting your family. But you know, I'm the problem. I'm the problem. 